What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be changing the starter in the Jeep today, like I said in the last video. Uh, we just got it in the mail. I was debating whether or not I was gonna do it today because of the rain, but kind of stopped now. So I'm gonna do that and see if I have time to change the fuel filter before the sun goes down. So like, it's just full of water and this thing got soaked in here, look at this. It's soaked. Like. Yeah, I got the starter here in the truck. This is honestly the cheapest starter I could find, but it works. And I mean, look how clean this shit came out. All right, so I haven't done one of these before, but um, hopefully it goes good. Just gonna disconnect the battery terminals. Let's put this over here. I'm just going to disconnect the battery terminals and um, bolt the starter and should be a couple bolts in. Why are you so far? Yeah. Thanks. I need this. I'm not laying down on this wet ass ground, so I can't find my mat shit that I usually use. I hope my mom doesn't mind her Take your positive out, always. Let's look at the new star. I haven't even looked at the new one. I want to see how it looks. An alternator. Just kidding. Just start it. Don't be later, pussy at home. That's not another starter? This shit looks like the same. Could be. Yeah, it's all. So that's the starter. I gotta take off those two terminals right there and then this little little thing right there. And then take off the two mounting bolts and it should come off. It didn't look the same because I had this little nick here, but it should be the same. I can't fucking make a YouTube video on a Cuban house. Are you crazy? You ever seen a Cuban YouTuber? <laughs> See, this is what I usually pity people do. But we're broke here, so we do it ourselves. This little ground cable that they got here, the nut stripped out to where it got pressed in. So every time you spin it, the whole backing spins. And I'm trying to hold this with some pliers so I can take the nut out without ripping this wire out. But is it just mirrored or something? It smells like it's burning. Can you pass me a 10? This one? Tell me if this makes any sense. Alright, so I can get to this one easy, right? Like, whatever. Why the f would they put a bolt where I need to get to? Just right there, like. So, since I already knew that the Jeep would pull some shit like this, I went ahead and bought. I popped it, but it was my bad. Okay, come here. You like the come here. Sit. You like the swivels? Okay, give me a hand. Give me your hand. Turn on Bezo. Found him two days ago. 
Super like if I go to hit him, he doesn't flinch because I don't hit him. He hits me. That's all I need. And I should be able to make it work. Hopefully. So here we got the new starter and the old starter. So like, shake this one. It doesn't make any sound. I don't think that should do that. But I mean, that's what 250,000 miles gives you. So. All right, I feel the moment of truth now. Fuck. Hmm. Oh, I didn't plug in the battery terminal. I was like, damn, this shit's dead. Scared me, Jimmy. <gasps> Should work now. Round two. I'm better. <laughs> I just want to try it one more time. So, um, so do y'all remember when I posted the first video introducing the Jeep and stuff and I did the, what was it that I painted? I painted the steering wheel and that little piece in the back of the door and I was saying that I was having like a misfire issue so I changed the spark plugs and then that didn't fix it so I changed the spark plug cables because I had a crack in it. Yeah, I'm still having that issue so my next guess is a fuel filter. So I got this now. And the fuel line that's right next to the fuel filter looks a little um, like dry and I feel like there's something stuck in there that that's what might be holding it back because it's right at 2000 RPMs when you start getting up to 2000 RPM. That's when it starts misfiring. So let's try changing this and see if it fixes it. All right, so to get to the fuel filter, you have to go on the driver's side and on top of this little panel here, you'll see the filter and then the line if you see what I mean, like this line looks, I don't know. It looks a little iffy, you got a hose here in the middle. And then on this side, there's like a fat bulge right there, which I don't really like. So I'm gonna change these two lines and change out the filter. See if that works. So, so we're gonna need a flathead to take off the uh, hose clamps. And we're gonna need a socket for the mount on the fuel filter. All right, so before I take off the fuel filter, you want to release the fuel pressure. So you open this little valve here. And then, I usually want a hose for this, but um, I'm not that well equipped. And now it won't blow up in your face. So, I don't know how well this is gonna come out, and I don't know how well you can see me, but... So I'm gonna start off by taking this one off first. <sighs> you see, if we wouldn't have released the fuel pressure, it would have been a lot worse than that. <sighs> All right, so this is the old filter next to the new filter. This thing is like really clogged. I tried blowing into it and barely any air came out the other side and you blow into this and it's like full airflow, like nothing comes out of this. So I'm hoping once I change out the old filter with the new one, that there's nothing in the tank that's gonna clog up the new one. Cause that's my guess. Someone put something in the tank and clogged up this filter, but we'll find out. All right, so now with that aside, I'm gonna cut the fuel hose now. I don't really have any cutters that I can find at the moment, so I'm going to use a knife. Now I got that. So you see, I'm not sure if it needs this bend or not, but it's not going to have that bend. Not no more, at least. Alright, so 
I just finished the new one now. It doesn't have the bends like the old one did, but hopefully it'll get it without kinking. We'll see what happens. If not, I'll just swap it out and back for this one. All right, so I just got the new filter on there with the new lines. This one is a little, I don't know, it's a little questionable, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we just changed the fuel filter. We're gonna start it up. All right, so I just changed the fuel filter. Uh, let's start it up and see what happens. Another fuel pump prime a few times. All right, it's running. Any leaks? Looks good. You can feel the fuel coming through. Let's see what happens. Let's see if she runs. My check engine light wasn't on, but right when I did that, it turned on, so. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, we got the fuel pump change, and we got the starter change. We got it running good at least now. And yeah, see you in the next one.